What's up guys, it's Bishop, here with a Bible verse of the week, coming out of the book of Romans, written by Paul, it's in the New Testament, we're going to go to Romans 12, verse 2. This is the New Living Translation that I'll be reading out of. Romans 12, 2. Don't copy the behavior and customs of this world, but let God transform you into a new person by changing the way you think. Then, you will learn to know God's will for you, which is good and and pleasing and perfect. A big thing that jumps out to me out of this verse is the word then. Because it says, don't copy the behavior and customs of this world. Let God transform you into a new person by changing the way you think. And then you will learn God's will for you. But if you do conform to this world, then you will not learn God's will for you. That's, that's very important that we need to realize that first, we cannot come to this world. We cannot let the world conform us. First, we have to block out this world. We can't copy the behavior and customs of this world. We got to let God transform us into a new person and then we'll see his will for us, which is good and pleasing and perfect. That's something that I didn't realize because I was I was conforming to this world in many areas of my life. I was listening to secular music, uh, more specifically rap, and um, and and I I was I was conforming to the world. I was letting that rule my life, and, and then I gave that up in my life after I went on this mission trip. And so then it was like things started seeing things became more clear to me because I was not conforming to this world. I was not copying the behaviors of this world. Now, I'm not saying I'm perfect. I'm not saying follow me. No, I'm saying follow Christ. But I'm saying from my own perspective, I or from my own experience, I had to go I had to go through this change. It says that God will change you into a new person and have a new way to think. You know, now my thought process is an eternal perspective. I'm not thinking about this world. I'm not thinking about living on this world, how much success, how much money I'll have. That's nothing. You got to have an eternal perspective. And so when it goes on in the verse and says, then you will know God's will for you, which is good, pleasing, and perfect. Once you know God's will for you, then you know, you know what? I got to toughen up. I got to live my life for Christ. God will protect for me, protect me. He will provide for me and everything will be okay. So I encourage you guys that this is some, that I, I encourage you guys to not conform to this world. This is something that I had to go through in many areas, especially my um, impurity that I, I used to I, I used to be very impure, but now I've had a spiritually re, a spiritual rebirth, and I've and I've changed many ways, many areas of my life. So I can see. So God's given me a new way to think. He's changed me into a new person, and I can see His will for my life. You guys have a good one.